Welcome to our lecture online. And now, my wife's way of doing this type of problem because she thinks her way is better than mine. So this is the way she would solve this problem. Again, we have the same two inequalities. And instead of first solving for the equations and graphing the boundaries, she simply says solve the inequalities as they are, but turn them into the y equals mx plus b format, but instead of an equal sign, an inequality sign. Of course, we don't have to do that for equation number one, that's already in the proper format, but we do have to do it for equation number two, or in this case, inequality number two. So here first we're moving the 2x to the other side, so minus 4y is less than or equal to minus 2x plus 12, but now since we're going to divide both sides by a negative number, we have to flip the inequality sign around. So let's do that here, we have 4y minus 2x plus 12 and just so we can see the difference I'm going to put that in a different color let's use this color right here so we're going to turn the inequality sign around like this because we're dividing both sides by a negative number that forces us to do that okay now when we simplify this we get y greater than or equal to 1 half x minus 3 and so that's still our second inequality so we have our first inequality and our second inequality. Now we're ready to graph it and solve it. So we put down our xy plane. Here's our y-axis. Here's our x-axis. And the first one is easy. We simply imagine this to be an equal sign y equals negative 5. So we go to negative 5 right here and we draw a solid line. Why is it solid? For the same reason, it includes the equal symbol then we draw a solid line because the line itself is included in the solution. Now we draw the other line. Again, imagine this would be an equal sign. y equals 1 half x minus 3. So minus 3 is the point at which it comes across. Let's uh, put the minus 3 there. And the slope is 1 half x. So we draw a line like this, like this, all the way through. Okay, we can also number them. This is line number 2. This is line number 1 to indicate the boundaries. And now we go ahead and ask ourselves, okay, we're looking for all the values y that are greater than or equal to negative 5. That's, of course, above the negative 5 line. y is greater than negative 5 for the region above that. So the region below that we don't want. I still like the idea of crossing out the region we don't want. It becomes cleaner when we have a multitude of these inequalities, which we'll have on the later examples. And then for number 2, we're looking for y being greater than 1 half x minus 3. Again, y is greater above the line. So above the line would be the region we're looking for. Below the line, we're not looking for that. So we cross out below that line. And then the region that's remaining is the region that's not marked. So this is the region that satisfies both inequalities at the same time. It is a little faster. I still like my other way better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting to see what the viewers like. Do they like this method better or do they like the one that I show them better? This one. <laughs> I think they like the other one better. This one. Way better. <laughs>